Hey there, it's Matt with 1T Fit and Finish. Today we've got a super small tile repair job. Check it out. So before we get started, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon for notification for when I upload a new video. Now let's get to work. So the tools I'll be using for this are hammer and pry bars. Got a grout scraper. Another grout saw, some brushes, a rounded over carpet knife, and a one inch dull putty knife. On close examination, this grate was put in a low grade, and some of the tiles around it have started to come loose. And there's one broken tile right here. I start by removing as many loose tiles as I can. I'll then use the grout scraper to remove the top layer of the grout. This also creates a notch that the grout saw can easily follow. As you can see here, this grout line is crowded. This is thick and then it's crowded again up, up here. We'll make sure that doesn't happen again when we reinstall the tile. I'm carefully prying the tiles up off the substrate, trying not to damage the shower tray. Do this slowly and carefully. Did I mention carefully? Oh, gross. It's bad enough to have to pull rats out of your own shower drain, worse when it's somebody else's. We'll save that one for lunch. I like to use the putty knife under the fulcrum point of the pry bar to keep from gouging the substrate or shower pan. Continue working your way around the drain in height adjustment collar until the drain flange is exposed. Work your way out from the drain until you find tiles that are still well adhered to the substrate. A few taps with a hammer will help break up the tile and loosen the thin set between the tile and substrate. This drain insert is movable. 
<clears throat> somebody put their heel on this and, and slid this collar down, allowing water to wick up underneath. And I think that's what caused these tiles to fail around the edge. I'm going to take this out, I'm going to clean it up and reuse it. After I remove all the tiles that need to come out, I carefully remove the grout from the neighboring tile using a dull chisel. I sweep and vacuum everything out, then head to lunch. Now it's time to put everything back together. I lightly dampen the substrate and begin skim coating or burning in the thin set. Here I'm using a small margin trowel and putty knife. I've cleaned up the drain grate and height adjustment collar. I made sure to build up thinset inside the drain flange itself and will apply a liberal amount of thinset under the edge of the drain grate. This helps stabilize the height adjustment collar from moving after the thinset cures. Using a quarter inch by a quarter inch V-notch margin trowel, I back butter each of the tiles. The first tile I apply, then pull off to make sure that I'm getting full coverage to ensure good tile adhesion. I'll use a combination of wedges and spacers to ensure that all the grout lines are uniform and equal. All right, so we're back the next day. Looks like everything is cured up and looks pretty nice. I 
I got this cheap carpet cutter and I like to use it to scrape out my grout lines. The tip is rounded so it won't cut the substrate. This is an old uh, spacer that the uh, original tiler left in place and it's popping through the tile. There's some voids throughout, um, throughout this tile. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a another layer over the top of everything right to the edge of the uh, caulking. So the homeowners had three bags of grout from all of the tile in their house left over. Um, they have this, which I know I put this in their uh, walk-in shower that I installed last year. They gave me this, which is an ivory color, and this, which is light smoke. If I had my druthers, I would use this because it's a far superior product. But I, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the color that's on the floor. It's hard to tell. Everything is faded or... Uh, stained a little bit, so the colors are all over the map. <laughs> but we'll get it done. I'll start with a thorough cleaning and dampen everything. Now stop playing with it or you'll go blind. And make sure that you pull out whatever you use to protect the drain before you leave. Well, that's it for this repair. If there's two things that I take away from it is one, if your tiles are broken, damaged, or coming loose, you better address them. The earlier you can get to it, the less expensive it's going to be and probably the, le uh, the less damage is going to occur. And the second thing I take away is that anybody can do this. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Just take your time when you're taking the tiles off. That way you don't destroy the substrate below. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. This is Matt with 1T Fit and Finish. Thanks for watching.